This video is going to be about the simplest possible way to draw an object, or at least to do it well. You always want objects to be decently drawn, and it's going to go through sort of several stages. You can do all of these stages on one layer if you draw softly, but for practice purposes, I like to run through the stages all next to each other so I can keep these object proportions refining next to each other as I go along. What I want you to do to draw a simple object is to begin with its basic shapes. And we're going to draw a lava lamp. And this lava lamp, if I draw it, and I'm going to draw it flat first, by the way. This is step one. The top of the lava lamp is basically a triangle. And then it's got a division. Then I've got another triangle that comes down. And then that triangle splits off about here, maybe about here. And then I have another triangle the same size. And I just run down this parallel angle until I reach the outer edge of the lava lamp. parallel angle, reach the edge, cut it off. Then I need to come up and subdivide here. This width right here is about the width of the base of the cap of the lava lamp, and the cap goes up much narrower. So this right here is my basic lava lamp shape. And I haven't tailored this to the exact particulars of the lava lamp, but this is part of my analysis. When I'm designing and creating new new objects or, or designing anything like this, it's never going to get b better than the basic proportions of this. What I can do now is I can take this and tailor it and make it m really a lot more lava lamp-like in shape. So I go through the same process. And when I draw this, remember I'm going to draw soft. My pencil can get that dark and it can be that soft or even softer, right? So I want to draw as softly as possible when I'm doing this. If that doesn't really work in a demo, I need to draw about the middle of what the pencil can do so that you can actually see it on video. So I'm going to lay this out. I'm just bringing my division right over so I don't have to fuss with it and remeasure. Go back out, hit my base, and so on. So I've drawn softer. I haven't gotten to the maximum darkness, right? But what I need to do is tailor these shapes to the actual lava lamp. One of the things that I notice here is that this edge kind of comes out a little bit and is fairly sharp. And down here, this edge kind of rounds just a little. on both sides. So it rounds and I'm parking it and transitioning it. Okay, so I've got my shape. Then down here, it rounds out at the bottom as well. So I need to transition and round and connect it all. Then up here, I actually have a slower transition as the lava lamp rounds and goes up. Then I have my division over here, and my top. There's a quick rounding transition here as it comes down. So I've got the actual lava part of the lava lamp decided, rounded. The top is pretty sharp here. And then the very top rounds out just a little bit. So what I've done now is I've taken my basic shape and I have tailored it to the actual shape of the lava lamp. And it's subtleties that I'm talking about. I'm talking about small transitions, whether something goes to a point or rounds out. And no matter what angle you get, uh, you look at, the, at an object 
whether you have a, a photo reference looking down or whatever, doing the shape first is going to help you draw this object. The next thing I want to do is take those right across and I want to practice my form conversion. So at this point I can probably stop dry, drawing the entire triangle, though if you need that, do that, right? So again, drawing softly. I'm drawing darker than I probably normally would. You're going to draw as softly as possible. If you have trouble drawing softly, you can get a 10% cool gray marker or a 10% cool gray color pencil. And that'll keep you from doing things like this too early on. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to form. So whenever I convert anything to a form, that's a rectangle or a triangle, that form conversion is going to happen at the end. So all I need to do to convert this rectangle is to transition it, right? If I want to make this rectangle into something more boxy, I can do that. I can create a prism out of it, right? Quick form, transition. And that basically just happens right at the end. So if I want to start making the form of the lava lamp, all I have to do is start rounding out all of those forms. And I just use a similar or the same arc for each division because this is all cone forms. And at the top, I get to show you the top. So what I've done here is I've done the basic shapes converted to forms, right? They're a little bit wonky, a little bit off. You can see the axis is on a little bit of arc. If I have trouble with axis, like I do here, all I have to do is go back to the beginning and say, well, I know there's a center line that comes just straight down here. And when I go for my fully tailored object, I can say, well, I'm going to pull that center line down so I don't botch it in the end. Again, I can just run my divisions right over. Now that I have an axis, I can check side to side and make sure that I get these measurements correct. I can give myself little tick marks and target points. So now it becomes about connecting the dots, which is much easier than drawing in thin air. And come down, I can find like the base of the triangle down here. I can bring the base down here. So I can connect the dots that way. If I want perfect symmetry, I can take this, put that up there. I can use other shapes outside to get this really perfect. I can find new target points. Then I know where that division is. Super painless, super easy. Then I can start to take these, these simple forms and I can tailor them in the similar way that I tailored these forms. So I know that I'm going to transition this form around, right? And I've got this form down here, and I'm going to do a soft transition. And then I'm going to have a hard transition at the top, soft transition at the bottom, and I have a soft transition here, right? So I'm taking this shape and I'm pulling it right over here. Then I've got another soft transition as I round out into the bottom of the base. And I can always come back and make adjustments, widen things out if I need to, work on my symmetry and so on. I've got a slow transition for the actual lamp part of the lava lamp. I can bring in my subdivisions again and my top. I know that my top is going to have a slow, something of a slow transition. So I need to be sure that I transition that off that ellipse. And then it's got a hard transition here and it's a little bit wider. than the actual lamp. The lamp has a little bit of a transition here. And 
so I've gone through basically two stages of shape and two stages of form. And I think of this as like tailoring a suit. I have my basic shape, I have my tailored shape. I have my basic form, I have my tailored form. And the relationship between basic shape and tailored form gives me my distinctive lava lamp form in the end, right? When you're designing objects or you're designing anything, this shape matters the most because the proportion and elements of this shape is never really going to be improved significantly by converting it to form. For creating dimension, you know, this form matters a lot. And then as far as making it look cool and look good, these little details about tailoring, especially at the transitions, are what matter a lot.